best way for you on your family vacation or your next adventure to collab with everyone and share all your pictures in the same album on more of an iCloud storage base to where everyone can see it. So we'll start this video off. There always needs to be a master file account. So let's say that that is me. I'm, I'm the master file account. So obviously I have purchased a bigger iCloud storage base package. So I purchased that. Let's say we're all going on our family vacation and you guys are going on your next family vacation. And this is the best way for you to get the footage to us. So if you'll just hang on here in this video, we'll walk you through those steps. So first off, let's say that we are we're setting up our iCloud photo stream. What you're gonna do with that is you're gonna always gonna go to your settings and make sure when you click on your name right up here on iCloud, you wanna click on iCloud right there again and make sure photos is on. You wanna do upload to my photo stream on iCloud photos on also shared albums on. These are very, very important. This is an important tool because you're gonna to have to have all those items turned on to share photos with everyone else. Not only that, when you're inviting someone, if they are not receiving the invitation or they can't get into the folder, that is exactly what they have to do as well in order to get into that album. So what we're gonna do from there is all that stuff is turned on, so we're gonna simply go to our photo album. I'm gonna hit select, and now I'm gonna click on the picture of the Disney castle I'm gonna click down at the bottom left and I'm gonna click on shared albums right here. So I'll click on that and then I will start a brand new shared album. This will be called My Disney Vacation. And I'm, then I'm gonna hit next. And I, the first person I'm going to invite is Carter. So I'll go ahead and click on Carter's name. Then I will hit next. And then I'm going to hit post. So right there, Carter will automatically be invited into the iCloud shared album. And we will show you what that looks like on his phone here in just a second. But then just to confirm, we wanna click on albums and we wanna to go to shared albums and we wanna click on my Disney vacation and it should have one photo in it. And so, and then we can also at the bottom click on people and this is how we invite others to it. So right here, we can invite whoever we want into the shared album. And you can type in everyone who has an iOS device, iPhone only. All right, so here's Carter's phone. If you look up at the top of the Photos app, it will have that little plus. That means that I invited Carter to the photo stream. So what you do from this moment is, is Carter clicks on that, and then you can see at the bottom down here, it has for you. There's a little plus one notification. You're always looking for that kind of plus one. I'm gonna click on that and it says right here that Talbot Cox has invited you to join my Disney vacation. So what I'll do from here is I will hit accept. So I am all of a sudden in that Disney vacation and I can start accessing the photos and I can upload and have the control of deleting it, which you never wanna delete photos from that. But right here is after Carter has recorded a five to 10 second video that we thought was great and we wanted to add to our video, he's able to click on that and then he can click on the whatever video it is, whether it's Talbot right here, and then I can hit done, and then all of a sudden, you can write something, Talbot being funny. He can hit post, and then that puts that into our shared album. And also remember that Carter recorded this in landscape mode, which is sideways, so then we can later on download that and use that for your family vacation video. If you hit play, there Talbot is right there on his computer. All happy. So a good example of this right here is if we go to the people, we have all of these people in our Cox family group from our last Cox family vacation, which we all went to Hawaii with. So everyone was able to upload images or videos. So here's a good example. This is 
Bryson playing with our niece and this is a video that was just uploaded on there. So it's not saved on my phone, it's not taking up space on my phone. This is all cloud based to the master account whoever started the iPhone photo stream. That's really important for you to know. But then these are all images and pictures and everything that we are all able to use. So this is where at the on the trip you will all be uploading your files and your videos to the cloud for everyone to see but not only for that, for us to pull down and edit your magical vacation video for you. Thank you so much, I hope you found this video useful. Also do want to note, when we recorded this video, it was January 2019. The latest iOS software slash update is 12.1. So make sure if you have a more out of date iPhone, you want to update that software. If you're running into troubles, update the software because you should be able to get help doing that. If you are still running into trouble, Go visit your latest uh, Apple technological person at your nearest Apple store. They'll be able to help you out as well or comment below and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you so much if you have purchased one of our vacation making time count packages because what we're going to do for you now is take all of your magical memories that you recorded and upload into your device for us to edit. We will take all those and create you the most magical video. And if you're ever looking to book a vacation, don't forget to click the link below to Hourglass Travel and Events as they can find you the most incredible and competitive prices on whether it's a trip to Europe, it's to Disney World, or it's a cruise, it's a river cruise in Europe, or no matter where it is, click there and they'll be able to help you out. With that being said, that's pretty much everything. I know that this is a more iOS or I guess you'd say iPhone device specific video. We look to eventually do one with more Android device software but right now we found the time being that we're only super knowledgeable and educated on iPhones, so we will make that in the future. Make sure you subscribe to our video and we will push that here in the next year to come.